Hello and welcome back to Fossil Dig Finds, where we look at some of the amazing discoveries made during the Australian Opal Centre's annual Fossil Dig. During the Fossil Dig, a bunch of lucky participants get to have some unique experiences, including working with and learning from paleontologists and opal experts, visiting working opal fields and processing plants, and of course, searching through fossil bearing material for opalized fossils from prehistoric Lightning Ridge. I spoke with Dr. Phil Bell from the University of New England Armadale about one of the previous discoveries from the Fossil Dig, a piece of crocodile that provides hints to Lightning Ridge's climate in the Cretaceous period. So this little vertebra was just found today. It's a little bit beaten up but there's some great little details in it that allow us to identify it. So this is the kind of main part of the vertebra down here. It's broken on the top but you can see this channel here where the, the nerve spinal cord would have passed through. Um, and there's this little process here which would have been mirrored on the other side. If we look at the front edge of the vertebra, it's quite hollow or dish-shaped, whereas the opposite is true on the other end, even though it's quite beat up. But that tells us that this animal was actually a crocodile. We had crocodiles in, in Lightning Ridge 100 million years ago, not too similar to our modern-day crocodiles, quite a bit smaller, in fact, around here. Um, but related to an animal from Queensland called Isisfordia. So this is probably uh, a vertebra of, of Isisfordia. We have a unique species of it uh, here in Lightning Ridge. And they're not very common, but crocodiles have a very specific range of temperatures or climate that they can live in. So these are really important climatic indicators uh, for, for the area. Even though uh, 100 million years ago, Lightning Ridge would have been sitting around 60 degrees south, quite a bit colder than it is today. The fact that we have crocodiles and other things like turtles um, and a real diversity of, of those animals suggests that despite being quite a long way south, it was relatively warm, uh, warm enough for these animals to, to make a living. This video was made with the help and ongoing support of the Australian Opal Centre at Lightning Ridge with special thanks to Dr Phil Well from the University of New England, Armadale. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to IDU Curiosity on YouTube and following along on all of the usual social media options. Thank you for watching.